Picture a realm of truly unmatched splendor, an untouched paradise existing beyond the reach of the outside world. Welcome, dear listener, to the pristine and awe-inspiring expanse of pre-colonial Brazil. This land boasted of a beauty that would leave anyone breathless. Canopies of lush greenery stretched endlessly, casting a cool emerald hue beneath the sunlight. A multitude of vibrant exotic species called these forests their home, creating a harmonious symphony of life. Majestic rivers snaked their way through this unspoiled land, their waters glistening under the blissful sun. Stunning mountain ranges stood tall and proud, adding to the grandeur of the landscape. The skies above mirrored the land's magnificence, with the warm hues of the sunrise and sunset painting a breathtaking canvas daily. But the magnificence of pre-colonial Brazil wasn't confined to its natural beauty. The true essence of this period lay in the tapestry of thriving indigenous cultures, each unique and rich in its traditions. These cultures, living symbiotically with nature, held fascinating secrets. They were guardians of wisdom passed down through generations, keepers of ancient rituals and creators of profound art and architecture. Their languages, songs and stories were intricate threads woven into the fabric of their identity. Indeed, pre-colonial Brazil was a treasure trove of mysteries and marvels. Each indigenous culture held secrets waiting to be discovered. Secrets that shaped the landscape and secrets that continue to echo in the heart of Brazil today. So let us delve deeper into the enchanting beauty and intriguing past of pre-colonial Brazil. The dawn of the 1500s signaled more than just the start of a new century. It marked the onset of a profound transformation, a significant shift in the world as it was known, the catalyst, the arrival of the Portuguese explorers. These intrepid adventurers, fueled by a thirst for discovery and a hunger for riches, embarked on daring voyages across the uncertain seas, landing on the shores of what is now known as Brazil. The arrival of these explorers wasn't a fleeting visit. It wasn't a brief encounter that left a small footprint in the sands of time. Rather, it set the stage for centuries of relentless colonization. What followed was an era of relentless cultural exchange, economic exploitation and territorial expansion. The Portuguese weren't merely visitors, they were settlers, intent on leaving their mark and reshaping this new land to reflect their homeland's image. The impact of this colonization was most evident in the transformation of Brazil's idyllic, verdant landscapes. The lush, untouched vistas were forever altered, forests were felled, rivers were rerouted and settlements sprang up like mushrooms after a rain. The once pristine landscapes, full of exotic flora and fauna, were reshaped and repurposed to cater to the colonizers' needs and desires. The arrival of the Portuguese explorers was more than a historical milestone. It was a pivotal moment that forever changed the course of Brazil's history, deeply influencing its culture, economy and environment, defining the nation's trajectory for centuries to come. The sweet allure of sugar, in its tantalizing and addictive delight, revolutionized Brazil's standing in the colonial world. This simple yet powerful commodity drove the nation into a colonial powerhouse, making it a prominent player on the global stage. The once sleepy agrarian society was suddenly awakened by the rush of wealth and prosperity that sugar brought into its realm. Yet this wealth was not gained without cost. It came at a high price, one paid painfully by both the land and its original inhabitants. The verdant and lush landscapes were aggressively deforested to make way for monotonous expanses of sugarcane plantations. The loss of biodiversity was staggering, and the scars inflicted on the land were deep and lasting. But it was not just the land that suffered. The native people of Brazil paid an equally, if not more, devastating price. Their ancestral lands were ripped away, their traditions and cultures eroded by the unstoppable tide of colonialism. Many found themselves enslaved toiling under the relentless sun in the sugar fields, their lives irrevocably entwined with the fortunes of sugar. Furthermore, sugar production had severe consequences on the environment. Soil erosion became rampant due to the intensive farming methods. Water sources were polluted by the runoff from the plantations, causing a ripple effect on the surrounding ecosystems. The tale of sugar in Brazil is a tale of stark contrasts. A tale of immense wealth and prosperity, 
born on the backs of the exploited land and its original inhabitants. It is a tale of how the sweet allure of a seemingly innocent commodity can have profound and lasting impacts. The tale of Brazil's path to independence is a distinct chapter in the annals of history. Unlike many nations who were forced to resort to armed conflict to break free from the shackles of colonial rule, Brazil followed a path of peaceful resolution. This unique journey culminated in a monumental event in 1822, which forever changed the face of Brazilian history. Brazil gained independence not through bloody battles or violent revolutions, but with a single powerful declaration known as the Cry of Ipiranga. This phrase, exuding an air of defiance and an insistence on sovereignty, was the first call for independence within the nation and the catalyst for their eventual freedom. On the 7th of September 1822, standing on the banks of the Ipiranga Brook, Prince Pedro raised his sword and bellowed out the cry of Ipiranga. This marked the end of Portuguese rule and the dawn of a fresh era for Brazil. This transition from a colony to an independent nation, however, did not occur in a political vacuum. Following the declaration of independence, Brazil didn't dive into the maelstrom of chaotic republicanism. Instead, a well-structured empire was established, with the reins in the hands of the charismatic leader who had sparked the cry of independence, Emperor Pedro I. The birth of this new empire under his rule further solidified Brazil's unique path to independence. Instead of plunging into post-colonial chaos, Brazil managed a smooth transition into a new age, setting a precedent for peaceful paths to independence. The resonance of the cry of Ipiranga and the figure of Emperor Pedro the Ust are still felt today, underlining the extraordinary narrative of Brazil's journey to independence. In the fading light of the year 1889, the Brazilian Empire's sun set, marking a pivotal juncture in the annals of Brazil's history. It was the dawn of an era where monarchy gave way to a republic. This transition, however, was far from tranquil. The journey from a traditional empire to a republic was fraught with pandemonium, political turbulence and societal unrest, as change often is. Yet the residents of this diverse land demonstrated an indomitable spirit, exhibiting resilience in the face of adversity. Through a tapestry of triumphs and trials, Brazil journeyed on a turbulent path, each challenge conspiring to mold the nation into what it is today. The Republic's early years were characterized by internal strife and external pressures, yet through each crisis Brazil emerged stronger, its spirit undeterred. The triumphs of Brazil are not only political, but also cultural. From the indigenous tribes that inhabited the land before colonial times, to the Portuguese who arrived in the 16th century, to the Africans brought against their will, and the immigrants from Europe, the Middle East and Asia, Brazil embraced them all. Each group contributed to the rich cultural fabric of the nation, blending their traditions, their food, their music and their beliefs into an extraordinary melting pot. Today, Brazil stands as a testament to its tumultuous past, a symbol of resilience and perseverance. It is a vibrant mosaic of cultures and histories, a testament to the power of diversity and unity, a nation that has not merely survived but thrived amidst the tumult of change, a testament to the indomitable spirit of its people. Indeed, Brazil's story is one of turmoil and triumph, and its tapestry continues to be woven, each thread adding to its rich, vibrant mosaic. From the whispers of the past, echoing the tales of ancient civilizations, to the vibrant, bustling streets of the present day, the story of Brazil is a compelling testament to the enduring power of resilience and diversity. This is a country that has been shaped by the hands of time, a country that has seen civilizations rise and fall, yet has stood resilient, embracing its diversity. Brazil's tale is a journey through time, a riveting narrative that tells the story of a nation unbounded. From the indigenous tribes that first roamed its vast jungles, to the Portuguese explorers who came in search of new lands, each chapter of the country's history has added another layer of richness to its narrative. This is a nation that thrives in the face of adversity, a nation that continues to reinvent itself, embracing the new while respecting the old. 
Brazil's story is one of constant evolution of a nation not bound by the confines of its past, but instead using it as a stepping stone towards a promising future. So, step into Brazil, a land that echoes with the stories of a thousand pasts. A land that stands unbounded, ever-evolving, ever-inspiring. Here is a nation that has defied the odds, a nation that encapsulates the beauty of diversity and the spirit of resilience. This is the story of Brazil, a narrative that is as unbounded as the country itself, a testament to a journey through time that has no end.